Forgetting the login credentials and application number open the official website www.nfsu.ac.in. Click on the admission tab and open the online admission link. Login with your username and password. The dashboard is open and you will find the application number and login credentials along with the URL to the exam. For beginning the exam, copy and paste the URL into a new tab. This will take you to the MCAT page. You will now need to enter the username and password that was shared with you on your registered email address or in your dashboard. It is mandatory not to copy and paste the credentials, instead you should type. You must now toggle it to yes and continue. You will now be directed to the Identity Verification page. It is essential for you to keep your valid government ID card with you at all time during the exam. Place yourself and your ID card in the frame. Capture the picture by clicking the Take button. Retake the photo if you're not satisfied, and submit once you're done. On the next page, you will be asked to fill out your personal information. Write down new name, email ID, mobile number, application number. Select the ID proof from the drop-down menu and write down the photo ID number. Photo ID number is the ID card number, such as Adher number or license number. You must now toggle it to yes and continue. Proceed to next and your exam will be started. Here are the questions and options, choose the correct answer and submit your response. The skip button is available for those who wish to skip the question and proceed to the next question. If you want to review any question later, you can also put your questions as review later. You will see your submitted questions in green color on the right, and your questions that need to be reviewed later in orange color. Click on any random question number to jump to it. A summary of all the questions you have attempted, skipped and kept for review will be displayed before the final submission. The questions you skipped or kept for review can be attempted again before submitting the exam. When you are ready to submit the exam, you will be asked for your confirmation. If you are sure, you can submit the exam. We are happy to inform you that your test has been successfully completed. You may log off now.